Okay, I got a, a regular stove here. And, um, pretty good size one. And that's what I've been using for a couple of years, and it just burns wood like crazy. I've got all this wood that I use, and it's, uh, quite a bit of wood. Totally full there. I use that all up in the winter. Plus, I've got all this wood over here. Stack. And I use it all up in the winter, and I'm thinking there's got to be a better way, something more efficient that doesn't heat that much up. So I'm going to do some crazy things to this here uh, firebox that I got and try and make a rocket stove out of it. So what the plan is here, being that it doesn't work that efficient anyway, I don't care if I wreck it because I got to do something different. The plan is to cut this part here off, flatten that out, and put rocket apparatus on top of that. And then cut a hole here with the tube coming up and going down underneath, have it come up. And that way the rocket part doesn't work. I can always take that tube out and just use it as a regular stove again until I figure out what to do next. Hopefully this works out. It's a much more efficient deal. And I can see if I can maybe use half this amount of wood like they say you're supposed to be able to do with rocket stoves. So I'll keep adding to this. Okay, I cut the top part off of here. And here it is. And I'm going to use that top to be welded on the top of this for the plate that the flames come up and hit and go back down into the other side. So now I'm going to cut this whole thing off here and get it out of there. Okay, I've got that cut off of there. I'm just going to have to cut my hole in here for the tube to put that this whole apparatus on top of this. I've got it marked with the thing and the weld that on there. There's that piece right there that was on there. Okay, so I got the uh, top all put on here. This was uh, open. I had to cut a piece and weld that all in there. I got the six inch, quarter inch thick tubing welded on the top there. Now I just got to put my two pieces on there and weld them on there. So I'll do that next. Okay, we got uh, the outer pipe on. We got that all welded on there. And so now these are both the same level here and I've got, uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but there's uh, for right in there. I'm Ran out, I need six bags, I guess, instead of three. And now I'm going to put the outer side on. I'll have to get the perlite to fill it up to the very top here. Uh, later, put another layer on here. Okay, I got the third one on. And um, you can see. Got the uh, smaller area that'll will come out of here and go back down these, and this uh, here will all be filled with the uh, perlite all the way up to the top around in here. So it'll come out here, go in there. I got all three pieces on now, and um, now I'm circling a piece of heavy steel with uh, some sheet metal to make a um, pipe to go on the back for the when it comes down this thin thing it'll come back and come out back here come out here it'll come 
down through here and out the back right here and I gotta mold that piece and cut a hole and have the outtake right there. Alright, I got the piece that I wrapped around this thing that's a leftover and I got it fitted into this pipe here so that um, it fits nice and snug and I just got to weld this yet take it out but then I got to take and um, get it to fit on the back of this so I got to cut a hole in that and weld it on there. Okay, I got this all uh, cut to fit right on this hole here. And all I got to do is cut that hole out and then I'll weld this right on there. So, got to cut that hole out. Okay, I got that welded on there, and um, next okay, I got the uh, piece on right here that I'm going to be putting the uh, wood in, welded on here with a hole in there, and uh, then I've got this piece here, which the air is going to come in this way and uh, got this piece right here in there in order to get all the flow going around this way to get the uh, spiral going on to get a tornado of uh, fire moving up the tube here and I put these little grooves in here and welded it flush here on both sides I got the flush here in the groove here so the air will come in fresh air come in and kind of spiraling around the same with this side it'll come in and spiral around and mix in with that and reburn it it's like an afterburner so as it burns up this tube it'll be burning all the uh, additional flue gas that would typically just go right out of the chimney and uh, fill your chimney full of creosote so I'm going to just take this and put that right underneath. Just open the door here and put that in underneath and put the hole with the circle under this one and the other one here so I can feed it. And that's the next step. Alright, I got the plate all welded up with, I mean the drilled up the holes on the top. I've got the, the nuts all welded onto the all the way around here. And I'm going to just bolt them right in. And right now I've got the inside plate. I mean a plate here. Got it all filled with perlite. The only places heat will come out is uh, right around down in here, all the way around come up here and go in there and then most people don't put this plate on here I just decided to put it on here because I noticed when they rechecked it a year later after using it it had settled like six inches down uh, see if this helps keep the heat away from it it doesn't settle as bad but I'm gonna check it a year from now and see so all I gotta do is put this cover on here I've got the uh, black rope. I'm going to glue that on there and then bolt that down so I can access this again every year. But hopefully I can glue this on there without too many problems. And then I can try it out. Okay, I got the uh, black rope all glued on around there. I'll let that dry and then I'll take those bolts out and bolt down the top over it and it should seal it pretty good. 
Well, it's October 28th and we're getting our first snow. So, I guess it's just in time to uh, have gotten this rocket stove done. I got the rocket stove done. It is installed and it's working right now. Got a good flame going on in there. You can probably hear it. Putting out some pretty good heat. And I've got it all hooked up to the wall. I um, got the top all on it. It's all bolted down and I can take that off in the spring to check inside to refill the uh, perlite if necessary. I've got the uh, inside isn't being used. There's just a jack holding up this tube that goes in here. This is just my clean out where I got this nice little handy tool I made where it just slides right in there and I just pull it all out right into a bucket. Uh, and it makes it very easy to clean that out. Very little ash left when you're done anyways. It's pretty efficient. But that's the culmination of putting, making a wood stove into a rocket stove. I guess it was a success. And I needed it to... Oh, there was one issue that I did have. The uh, tube right behind this tube, they were only uh, 3 8 inches apart from each other and that wasn't enough to get enough flow through it. So I had to take them off and make it so that it was 3 quarter inch between the two tubes. So when the exhaust came up and came down the sides, it was three quarter down and then out. Now I have plenty of flow. And I definitely, it might, you know, I got those measurements from the internet, but I was thinking that they might be for down south where they don't need as much heat. Up here we get like 40 below in the winter. We need as much heat as we can get. And I've got a pretty big place here. Uh, you know, that needs a lot of heat, so I've got a couple levels and rooms up there and a room over there and a room over here, so it's quite a bit of area to heat. So I got the, the fans up here to blow the heat around and it works great so far, so... Got her done just in time for the the winter weather. And that's the culmination of the project.